Roger, go for deploy. Welcome to this planet's premier spaceport. This is a live look at pad 39A, the very same pad that sent Apollo to the moon, now launches crew missions to orbit. As we orbit the pad, we see Dragon Endeavor at the top of the rocket. Its four crew members, including two NASA astronauts, are ready to ride a Falcon 9 rocket to the space station. I'm NASA's Daryl Nail, and you're watching our live Crew 11 launch coverage. Joining me again for our second launch astronaut and Space Force Brigadier General Nick Haig is a spacewalker, Crew 9 commander, and my co-host. Well, Nick, how's it feel knowing that Crew 11's going to get another shot today? Hey, today we're launching human space. It's a fabulous day. Ready? Absolutely. And we are also listening to the loops, and we will pause when we hear those operational loops, loops come over our uh, audio channels here. You will not see Nick or I on camera until our final hour before liftoff. For now, it's audio only as we document and show you the video, the pictures of the sights and the sounds leading up to liftoff. It's been a beautiful morning so far. Astronaut Nick Haig was outside capturing the beautiful sunrise this morning around 6.30. Yeah, what a lovely. sunrise it was, too. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a beautiful day out there. It sure is. And it started that way yesterday as well. As we know, we uh, headed into the, yesterday's launch attempt, which was slated for 12.09 p.m. Eastern Time, with just absolutely perfect weather at the beginning of our journey. You see clear skies there. However, we had weather interrupt what was going to be a perfect setup for launch. The crew was good, the vehicle was good, the spacecraft was good. We were green all the way across except for at T minus one minute and seven seconds we had a cumulus cloud get into the standoff area with a 10 mile radius around the pad. And so when that happens, we have weather rules that constrain launch because when you launch a rocket through a cumulus cloud, especially if there's energy in it, potential lightning uh, could be induced by a rocket launch. We stood down for that launch opportunity yesterday, but we got yeah. so close. It was Nick. so close. We were out there a minute to go and off goes the warning for lightning in the area, and and you can see the rain in the distance coming down, and uh, Mother Nature decided to let us try again today. And we are hopeful she will give us a chance today. We certainly know that the conditions will be very similar to the ones that were uh, in play yesterday. We have a sea breeze that's going to be coming uh, onto land as it always does this time of year and it cooks up things in the atmosphere. The question today though is with our T0 at 1143 a.m. Eastern Time, we're just a little bit earlier, about 22 minutes earlier than yesterday's T0 due to orbital mechanics. So hopefully, you know, if this as it did yesterday with the weather, we would launch today because that cumulus cloud would not be around. Absolutely. It, it is a uh... I'm an optimist. We're you going. are. We're going. Yes. You know, it's have to be optimists. They really do, right? And as we look on our screen, we are seeing the astronauts that are flying today, and that is Commander Zena Cardman. Her crew made their way into the suit-up room, as they did yesterday, once again, getting suited up, the gloves, the suit, the helmet, the boots. This is a time to make sure that everything's ready, Nick. This is, uh, you know, you, you, you start the day, you, you hop in your suit. This is the first check of a couple different checks you're going to do of the suit. Uh, just making sure that, uh, you know, if you ever needed this to hold pressure in the event of an emergency during launch or landing, uh, that it's going to work for you. 
And so sitting in a, a suit there, you've got the suit techs uh, strapping her in and, and hooking her up, and pretty soon she's going to close her visor and they'll take her to pressure. Let's learn a little bit more about Xena as she prepares for her space flight today. Zena Cardman. Countdown advanced team have arrived in the white room. This is on schedule. On schedule today out there at the launch pad. That's what that call was for. This is the advanced team that gets everything ready at the pad. So that's great news running on time. Zena Cardman, she is commanding crew 11. She was Bolinoy, but calls Williamsburg, Virginia, her hometown. She's a scientist at heart with degrees in biology and marine science from the University. University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Before joining NASA, Zena did field work in some of the most extreme environments on Earth, including Antarctica, the Canadian high Arctic, and volcanic terrain in Idaho and Hawaii. She gives us uh, a big thumbs up and a big AOK -okay sign. She was selected as part of NASA's 2017 astronaut class known as the Turtles. Zena was originally assigned to Crew 9, the mission that Nick Haig flew on, my co-host, but was later reassigned to command Crew 11 to support changes in station operations. And when she's not training for spaceflight, she enjoys rock climbing, writing poetry. She's an artist, can draw amazingly. We'll talk about more, more about that later. And she's also a power lifter. That, that, yeah, what can't she do? <laughs> that's, that's the question. <laughs> and she is... And we've had astronauts like her before in, in the past launches. It doesn't come from a test pilot background or even a military pilot yeah, background. Yeah, you know, you point that out. That's unique. Uh, you know, she is, uh, of her crew, the 